Hi girls! Today I want to share with you my perfume collection. I promised I'm gonna do this long long time ago so let's do it today. So if you're interested to see what perfumes I have just keep on watching. So let's get started. Here I keep my perfumes and this is a picture of Marlene Marlowe. She's amazing. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Anyways, let's get started. So first I have this uh, Marc Jacobs Lola perfume I got last year and I really really like it and I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Also from Marc Jacobs I got this recently and this is Oh Lola. It smells so good. Very very good. Um, moving on I have Daisy Marc Jacobs and I'm not sure what is it called but I think it's Daisy. And here I have the small bottle of the original Daisy perfume, which I love, love, love. It's amazing. It smells so good. And here I have my newest perfume, which is Justin Bieber. Uh, Someday, I guess it's called. Yeah, Someday. And I love the packaging. Moving to the second row, I have this uh, Blue Girl by Blue Marine. I got this last summer, I guess. And it smells so good. It smells so summery and fresh. And this is one of my oldest perfumes, as you can see, it's very empty. This is uh, Cool Water by Daffy Dove. And this is a new one, it's called Cool Summer. They had an old one. Anyways, <laughs> rambling. Then I have J.Lo, um, I think this one is called... Mm, yeah, it's called... Um, what? Glow After Dark by J.Lo. Jennifer Lopez. I love this perfume. It's so, so rich. And then I have Miami Glow. And as you can see, I used a lot. This is very old, by the way. Then I have one of my favorite perfumes, which is Cada Marine Groove. And I love this perfume because I heard Andrea's Choice. It's one of her favorite perfumes. So I got it. And I really, really, really like it. And also I got this mini bottle to carry it on my purse. Um, it was like an, an offer. You get this and I think a hairband, cream and something like this. It was like a set. But I really, really like it. It smells so good. But it's so summery. Then I have this mini Dolce & Gabbana light blue. It's almost empty. I really, really like this perfume. I want to purchase the full size. Uh, I want to mention that most of these perfumes are gifts. I get a lot of perfumes as gifts. I don't know why. Anyways, this is one of the perfumes uh, that I got as a gift. This is by Britney Spear. I think it's called Believe. I really don't like it. So I just spray it in the room. I hope the person who got me is not watching this video. Hi, girl. <laughs> and moving on, I really like this. The Gucci Guilty perfume. It smells so good. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. This perfume is kind of old. This is Bronze Goddess from Still Loader. And it smells so... I don't know how to describe this, but it smells so summery and beachy and... I don't know, I really like to wear this in the summer. Moving on, this is a very, very old Fendi perfume. And as you can see, almost gone. Here are two of my favorite perfumes, all-time favorite perfumes. And this is the Viva La Juice from Juicy Couture. I have the big bottle and I have the small one. I really like this perfume, but I what I hate about it, that's very, very heavy. So even the small one is very heavy, so whatever. This perfume I got as a gift also. This is from Guerlain. And I don't know, it's okay. Not my taste, but it's okay. Moving on, I have Black Axis, which I'm not sure if I like it or not. I don't know. I don't like it on me, but I like it on my best friend. It's one of her favorites. And I have Chance by Chanel. Very nice perfume. One of my all-time favorites is um, Miss Dior Cherie by Christine Dior. I have the tiny bottle. And I think I have the big bottle. Yeah. And I have the big bottle. Then I have... Wish Pink by Victoria's Secret and it smells so good. It smells so, so good. Then I have uh, Absolutely Me by Skada. And I got this as a gift and I don't like it. Also, I have this perfume. It's called Guest Seductive. Mm, not a big fan. 
My new favorite is the Elisa perfume and I mentioned this on my favorites video. I love it, it's so good. And then I have this Gucci Rush. I have number one and number two, but I don't know where is number two, it's somewhere. But I really like it and it's almost empty. I need to get a new one. I was so happy that I found it. Moving on to this part, I have Vera Wang Rock Princess and I really, really like this perfume. I have the original Princess by Vera Wang also. I got this Jimmy Choo uh, perfume from Sephora, free gift, and I don't like it. I have the Dior Mystery, the big one. This is one of my favorites perfume. It's Dolce & Gabbana Rose The One. And it smells so good. It smells exactly like Dolce & Gabbana The One, but it has like a tint of uh, rose, I guess. This is the Dolce & Gabbana The One. Moving on to this part, I have uh, Roku Baruku Lady Million. I don't like this perfume at all. I got it because I heard a lot of good stuff about it on YouTube, but I don't like it. I don't wear it at all. Also, I have this Juicy Couture perfume, but I'm not sure what is it called. I think Love by Juicy Couture. I don't know. And I don't know. I'm not a big fan. It's whatever. I have my um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, which is a very, very nice perfume. Very heavy, I guess. My all-time favorite Dolce & Gabbana number three and smells like, I don't know, um, it's very sweet, but it smells so good. I'm so bad at describing scents, so excuse this nasty video. <laughs> also, I have Forever and Ever Dior from Christine Dior and I had this for the longest time ever and it reminds me of one of my high school teachers and I really like it. I miss this lady a lot. <laughs> and I have this Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is very old. I think this is the first uh, perfume that my fiance got me. Yeah, I guess. Or well, maybe not the first, but he got me this when we started dating. Moving to this row, I have two of the Playboy uh, perfumes. I think one of them is called Spicy and the other one. I don't remember. They smell so sweet and they're very, very affordable. I really like these. Next, I have Britney Spears Fantasy, which is very, very sweet. And I have the new one, which is Hidden Fantasy. Hmm, it's okay. Not a big fan. Also, I have this um, Poison by Kristen Dior. And this is my first favorite perfume ever. I've been using this for the past 15 years, I guess. And I've went through 10 bottles or even more. And I have two backups. I really, really like this. It smells so, so good. Then I have this um, Cheek by Carolina Herrera. My fiancé got me this. I think because of the packaging. Because I don't like this scent at all. It smells so weird. But I love the packaging because it's pink and stuff. Then I have two of Pink Sugar. I have a small bottle and a big bottle. This one is almost empty. Then I have a Very Sexy Dare by Victoria's Secret, which I'm not a big fan. I used to really like it, but for some reason, uh, I don't like it anymore. I have Heat by Beyonce, and I love this perfume. I have Pink by Victoria's Secret, and I'm not a big fan. <laughs> this perfume I got as a gift from a friend, and it's called Let Me Rock by Vivian Westwood. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It smells weird, but it's so spicy. It's very nice anyways, but I don't wear it a lot. And I have this Ed Hardy uh, perfume, and this one is called Love Kills Slowly, which is very true. <laughs> and moving to this part, let's see. I have this Hello Kitty uh, Sweet Collection. It's a set, I got it from the airport. And they all smell the same, so I just keep it for decoration. I don't really use it. And then this is like a set of uh, Dior. The scents of Miss Dior Cherie comes with four testers. Got this also from the airport, and I don't use it just for decoration. Ow. And this perfume is a uh, candy by Prada. I got this recently, so. I didn't have the chance to open it or use it. Ow! So it comes with a body lotion and it's called a candy lotion. 
and then the perfume. It smells so nice and sweet, but I didn't try it yet. I want to start using it. Moving to this part, these are Kika's perfume, and that's her favorite, Vanilla Wolf. And then here I have like samples and small perfumes. I have the Pink Sugar Roll-On, I have Britney Spears Curious uh, Roll-On, and this is a Sephora old perfume that I, I still have the packaging, it's empty, but I really want to get another one. That was Chocolate Paraline, it smells so good. And then I have some testers, like this is Miss Dior Cherie, and this is a small roll-on for Viva La Juice, Juicy Couture. I have this perfume that I ordered online, but I think it's it's not real, it's fake, because it smells so bad. This is, um, yeah, it smells so bad, and I heard a lot of girls raving about this on YouTube. It doesn't smell like honey, it smells like dirt, and this is Naked Honey by MAC. I think it's fake, so... I never use it. Then I have this set by H&M and I need to throw this because it stinks. It's very nasty. I have this Christina Aguilera perfume and this one is called Royal Desire by Christina Aguilera. It smells so good. I have a mini tester by Chanel number no. 5 and then I have a mini tester of Poem. And this is by Lancome. This used to be one of my favorite perfumes. It smells so good. And then I have a So Hooked on Caramel by Benefit. It smells so good. And then I have Calix, which is a very, very nice perfume. I'm not sure if you're going to find it everywhere because I, my sister doesn't wear it except this perfume. And I tried uh, like getting her um, more, <laughs> but I never found it except in Italy. So I'm not sure. But it's called Calix. And it smells like heaven. Then I have this perfume by Joe Melon, and this is English Pear. I also have a small one by Zora, which I don't use it. Moving on, I have this perfume. I'm not sure what is it called. It's very old. Also, I have this Burberry London Mini perfume. It smells so good. I have a small, tiny Gucci by Gucci perfume. And this is White Mask by Body Shop. Then I have these two testers, Someday by Justin Bieber and Exceptional by someone, whatever. And here I have my Travelo. I have more, but these are the ones that I'm using. So that's all. Let me give you another overview of my perfumes. So that's my perfume collection. I know it's a weird video because I don't know how to describe perfumes, but I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. Ciao.